Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So welcome, and today's video is actually going to be how to handle family and friends when dieting, whether it's low carb, Atkins, Paleo, uh, Keto, whatever it is. And I say dieting, I know it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle change, but I'm saying specifically, other people are going to see it as a diet, although you know it's a lifestyle change. Let's get started. Okay, first and foremost, number one, and I'm probably gonna get some flack against this one, but I don't really care, it's okay, I understand, and you probably understand too. If you are changing your lifestyle as far as like eating, your healthy habits, you're drinking more water, you're doing all these things that are promoting good health with inside your body, do not pressure anybody to get on board. And the reason I say that is because the number one rule is going to be they will rebel. Okay, they will rebel against you. The harder you push somebody in one direction, the harder they're gonna push back against you. So keep that in mind. This is your journey, okay? And let's just say, if you start showing results and people start noticing amongst you when you are with other people that could potentially benefit from a healthier lifestyle change, they will on their own get on board. Do not pressure people because you do not need people in your household or anybody rebelling against you. Trust me. I will say I have not pushed my boys to eat healthier whatsoever and now they, they just do it on their own. And the reason I say that is because with anything, if you, especially kids, if you push them in one direction, if they're small enough, change it. It's okay, they're not gonna notice. But older kids, like teenagers and stuff like that, they want those hot Cheetos. They want those monster energy drinks. They want all that stuff. But if you start to have results, you start to look good, you start to feel better about yourself, and people start to notice you naturally within positive environments, people around you will jump on board. You don't have to make them do it, trust me. Believe in your journey, and remember it's only yours, that's okay. Okay, next is going to be, <laughs> this is the funniest one, but not as funny, okay? Dealing with family that thinks they're being helpful. Okay, these are a couple things that I've heard. You can't, you can't eat that. And they'll say this publicly. Oh, you can't eat that. That's not on your diet. Are you sure that's on your diet? You'll be literally at a freaking barbecue and they'll be like, oh no, you can't have that. That's not part of your plan. And the problem with that is not only did they just bring everybody right at you as a target because dude you're at a party okay everybody's right there like as soon as they said that they're like oh you're on Atkins oh you're low carb and everybody's like oh that's bad you're gonna die blah 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 okay so I understand that stuff happens and it's freaking hard to deal with okay the next thing I've heard is do you want me to <laughs> hold up while you, yeah, like they'll say, they'll walk up to you at a party or whatever, like a birthday party and you're doing really good. And like you'll grab, you know, you got some lettuce or whatever, you got some lettuce and you got some, you got some ranch dressing and maybe, you know, uh, some cheese on there. And then you go for the avocado and they're like, oh, I don't think that avocado's on your stuff. And it's like, whoa, what? On what stuff? What are you talking about? Well, you are trying to lose weight because your your blood pressure is high and your butt's all big and like they'll call you out on all kinds of crap. And it's like, mother, you want me to eat the whole cake? Right now. Give me the cake. I'll eat everything. Is that on my plan? Is that part of your plan? That's not funny. I'll eat the whole cake. You want me to eat the kid's cake? I'll take the kid's cake and eat the whole cake. I will totally eat the kid's cake. I don't care about that kid. I'm just here because somebody sent me here. Now you're giving me problems about my freaking meal plan. You don't even know my meal plan. Moving on. Be strong at parties. Don't go with people that are mean. The next thing is don't be afraid. Like if people are being super helpful and they're not, they're derailing you and they don't really, you know they don't know what they're talking about. Maybe you're new to this, but you know 50 times more than they do because you're actually researching, you're actually watching videos, you're actually on Healthy Living for a Healthy Life, our Facebook group, you're actually interacting with other people, you're reading books, you're watching videos, you're doing all this stuff that expands your knowledge. What the hell are they doing? They're not doing anything but running their mouth. So do not ever, ever, ever be afraid to say, hey, 
how much or what exactly do you know about Atkins or what exactly do you know about induction phase or what exactly do you know about a ketogenic meal plan and watch the shit show begin you think it's gonna be funny it's freaking hilarious the next thing is 98.4.5 percent that's an actual freaking thing an actual percentage uh, percent of what people think they know about Atkins or keto or paleo or veganism or whatever is absolutely false okay first of all if they're arguing with you about what you're supposed to be eating they don't know what you're supposed to be eating they are under the impression that Atkins is I can eat 500 pounds of meat and 450 pounds of cheese per day every day and no problem, I'm gonna lose weight. Ain't eh, wrong, that is not true. Don't, don't hate on people just because they don't know what they're talking about, but don't be afraid to call them out on their lack of knowledge. It's okay to stand up for yourself. It's okay to stand up for your new healthy life. That's perfectly fine. Be stronger than your excuses and be stronger than somebody else's idea of what they think is your reality as far as healthy living is bad help is not good help have you ever had somebody like you ever had a work project and you're working at work and all of a sudden you know you're in a groove you're doing really good and all of a sudden they throw this newbie in there and I'm not saying anything against new people but if you had a groove going and then now you're having to teach this person why you're going on like the same training session like it's not helping bad help is not good help okay I got something crawling in my mouth what the hell? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. If somebody is trying to help, but you know it's not good help, tell them. It's okay to tell them. Speak up. Say, hey, you know what? I appreciate that you're trying to help, but I don't feel you're knowledgeable enough in this situation or this type of uh, healthy lifestyle. I'm not saying a, well, a healthy lifestyle in general, but the type of lifestyle that I'm going with, whether it's Atkins induction or whatever, because these are very specific things that you need to understand and rules and guidelines. You can't just say, oh, I'm gonna limit my carbs and then suddenly I'm in Atkins induction. Honestly, that's how people turn their wheels, turn their wheels, turn their wheels. I've been doing this for a month, I haven't lost any weight. Okay, how many freaking books have you read? Have you read a book about it? You know what I'm saying? Like. That goes for you too, that goes for me too. If I wanna learn something, I need to dive into it. You know, and if they just have random bad help, bad help is not okay and speak up for yourself because it will eliminate 90% of what the hell is frustrating you. Next, and I think this one's probably up there with one of the most important things. You can literally only consume, only control what you consume, okay? Once you're on a healthier lifestyle change, you're like revved up. You're like, yeah, I lost 20 pounds, or I lost 50 pounds, or I lost 100 pounds. And you start hitting people, and you're like, oh man, you should do this, you should do this, you should do this. I don't ever, 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 ever push my lifestyle on anybody that does not approach me asking me how I did it, or how to do this, or how to be successful at weight loss, or how to get healthier, or whatever. I never ever push it on anybody because I can literally only control what I consume and what I do with my body and let's be completely honest isn't that freaking hard enough controlling what we eat figuring out what works best figuring out how to get to the gym every day figuring out how to stay motivated every day let's worry about us first and then if they want to come and they have questions then go ahead but don't try to control what anybody else is eating because you're just going to stress yourself out Lastly, I wanted to say, first of all, congratulations to anybody that is on a healthier lifestyle change, as well as doing better overall. If you're drinking more water, if you're drinking a glass of water versus not drinking any water before, and that's literally all you've done to change your healthy lifestyle, I don't care, congratulations. I'm proud of you. That's where it begins. Don't overwhelm yourself by trying to do too much at once. You're not gonna lose 50 pounds in five days, and you're probably not going to lose 50 pounds in a month. Unless you're Tasha and you lose 47 pounds in 30 days on one of our challenges, which was pretty freaking amazing. But aside from that, most people's results, if you lose between one and a half to three pounds per week, that's a pretty healthy range. So be proud of yourself for the changes that you're making, and don't try to tackle it all at once, it's okay. The last thing that I wanted to close with is 
when you are changing your lifestyle, I know I joke around and I'm kind of aggressive and I screw around and I, I you know, it's, it's all fun and games, but at the end of the day, be compassionate and kind to the ones that are in your home and the ones that you're, you're dealing with because they're seeing your lifestyle change, it can really stir up a lot of feelings. It can stir up your husband might be against you, your wife might be pissed, your, your kids might be like, screw this, I'm moving out. Dude, move out, I'll save money on groceries. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. But seriously, if you know that it's causing a lot of problems, and it can, first of all, if this something simple like this is causing a lot of problems within your home, chances are you probably have more problems that are unresolved that you, that are much bigger than this healthy lifestyle change so maybe you know counseling could work or talking with your family or whatever but aside from that if you are having issues with this healthy lifestyle change please sit down make a time not when you're uh, mad not when you're arguing about it no time say hey on friday evening at the dinner table can we set aside 15 minutes to discuss how i feel about my healthy lifestyle change and how important it is to me that i become healthier so that i can be there for you and chances are if you do it in a really calm cool collected manner and voice and tone and everything without aggression or anything people will open up and say, okay, sometimes it can go bad. It can, it can cause them to try to be overly helpful or whatever, but that's when you cover the other things. But the first thing is if you meet issues right away, sit down and talk to them, sit down and say, Hey, you know what? I'm worried about myself. Um, you know, my, my blood pressure is high. I'm pre-diabetic. I want to be here for the kids. I want to be here for you. I love you. You know, you have to say those things and say it compassionately. And honestly, at the end of the day, if somebody that you're with doesn't want you getting healthier, you're probably with the wrong person. Okay, that's you should be with somebody that always wants you to push for to be the best version of yourself. And if that's not the person you're with, or that's not the person you want to be with, well, then guess what? All hell's gonna break loose, and you're gonna have a freaking disaster. But maybe you'll be healthier in the end. So, you guys, I hope you guys like our video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Remember, be stronger than your excuses. Remember to spread love, not hate. And check out the links in the description below. We have our gear. I don't have my shirt on because it's like a black background. It screws it up, man. Everybody gives me problems. They're like, I can't see you. You're like a moving head. A moving head. What the hell is a moving head? You guys, have a beautiful day. Jimmy says hi. See you later.